Feeling sad to let go of the backyard hangs. Me too, but who says they have to end? Designer Michael Lambie is here to show us how he transformed one client's backyard into an all year round oasis. Michael, it's beautiful. Hey, Tracy. Yes, yes, it is. And you know what? My client really wants to make sure that he can entertain his friends and his family going into the cold weather. But before I tell you about that, this client was actually his basement project that I did, and it was my first ever appearance on City Line that we did. So it feels really nostalgic to be back here. I remember that client. Are you getting the best out of your basement? If it's a dumping ground for a clutter, that would be a no. So here to inspire you to make it somewhere you want to spend time, designer Michael Lambie. Michael! Hey, thank you. Welcome, my love. Thank you. Let's talk a little bit about the basement space. You have a lot of square footage there to play around with, don't you? Well, if you have, uh, it's for pretty much one third of your square footage, your entire home. So if you think about right. that's one third of your mortgage that you're spending in your basement. It's a lot of value. That's so right. you want to make an extension of your home, not just some place that, you know, you've been to houses where you're walking through and it's impeccably designed and you go downstairs and then womp, womp, womp. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this client, is you're all over their house now. This is a Michael Lambie <laughs> creation, which is kind of nice. That says a lot about yeah. what they think about your work, right? It's an honor to be back, for sure, for sure. So your first hot tip is uh, we really need to maximize real estate. Talk to us a bit about that. That's right, that's right. I mean, they have a gorgeous backyard, so this outdoor deck became more of a stepway to get to the backyard, which is a waste. So what we want to do is we want to maximize this. So creating a roof and a ceiling structure over this backyard deck actually made it an extension of the existing architecture and we were able to create the flavor that we have inside, outside. So what we did is we added the skylights to really bring the light into the space and we added power screens around the perimeter of the whole space which do an incredible job of, of keeping the elements out but you still feel connected because you can see right through but it cuts wind, it will cut the snow and it really actually cuts a lot of the cold air and keeps the cocoon inside and of course lighting. Lighting everywhere so that nighttime they can enjoy the same space. Okay so it's too bad they don't have a better view. That's me throwing shade because I'm jealous. <laughs> right. Like, are you kidding me? Look at this backyard. Is that a pool? Did I say a pool? It's stunning. Oh! It's a pool that has waterworks, everything. It's, it's stunning. And it has a cooking area. It has everything they need out there. But that gets cut off right about now. Okay, well, I don't want to hear anymore about how amazing it is. But tell me this. <laughs> how do they keep it warm? I mean, I'm seeing the beautiful uh, fireplaces. How are you making it warm Fire. in that space? Well, there's nothing, nothing more toasty and cozy than being over in an open flame when you're outside. So we've created that everywhere. We did the real contemporary linear fireplace, which is gas. And then we did this beautiful fire table, which is really large and it's gas as well. So we have that open flame and it's just really, really toasty. And to really top it off, we added electric heating panels that are on top of the ceilings that come down. So there's a ball of heat cocoon that's really held in here. It's really, really warm right now. Oh, that is good. Okay, and you're still looking cool as a cucumber. I'd be sweating. Take us out to that space <laughs> um, that is so gorgeous, and let's talk a little bit about the food prep area. Right, so we really have to be barbecuing all year round. We're Canadians, that's what we do, right? We just, no matter what the weather is, we're barbecuing. So we created an outdoor cook area right near the door so they can come to bring their food out. Beautiful barbecue and kitchens for those, uh, fridge for those beverages that you might want to, when you're entertaining out there. <laughs> so we had that zone created here for as well. Yeah, I got that hint, hint. We know what's in the fridge over there, uh, Michael. <laughs> Um, you're, exactly. If you're not eating and drinking out there, you might be hanging out near the television. So tell us a little bit about the TV you've got in that space. Right. You're out here. You want to be here during the football games. You want to be here to watch City Line. You want to watch all your sports out here. So we had to put a large screen TV so you can sit, kick back, and be as loud as you want because you're outside. There's no rules when you're outside. You can scream and cheer on your favorite sports or go, go Tracy, go, right? So it's outdoor entertainment area where you're going to sit and spend hours. And of course, while you're watching that TV, Michael, you need a nice place to hang out and sit. Talk to me a little bit about the furniture. Of course, so we had to use the best for a space like this. Really sleek outdoor furniture from our friends at Jardin de Ville. This stuff is rated for outdoors, but it looks spectacular. Ultimate clean lines, very contemporary modular. So we finished off this beautiful outdoor space with some beautiful outdoor furniture. Okay, so my last question is just, can I get an invite? Is it possible for me to come to the house? <laughs> Can you pull some strings? <laughs> well, your invite is open all the time, all the time, definitely. That's what I like to hear. This is why I hang out with the, uh, with the popular designers. Michael Lambie, thank you for that. What a gorgeous 